Have you ever made a hamburger loaded with butter? Well, stick around. We'll show you how to make the juiciest burger of your life. Butter burgers. That probably sounds odd to you guys. It did the first time I saw it as well but I had to try it. And I'm here to tell you that this will make one of the juiciest, most delicious burgers you've ever had in your life. After I saw it, I thought it was kind of crazy. I started poking around the internet and seeing who all had done this and, and kind of what was out there. And I found uh, Wisconsin Butter Burgers. Um, I found my man, Sam, the cooking guy. He made uh, a, a compound butter and put a disc of it right in the middle of a patty that looked super delicious like everything he cooks does. Uh, but when I first saw this, I saw someone grade great butter and put it directly into the grind. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So this is gonna be extremely simple. So let's jump in. So I've got 80, 20 uh, ground meat. That's my favorite hamburger, 80% meat, 20% fat. I think that makes the ultimate burger no matter what you're doing. So I've tested this a few ways. I've gone like 90, 10, but I've come back to, let's start with 80, 20 and let's add butter to it. I'm making four hamburgers today and I'm just making them one third pound. So you can adjust this recipe depending how big you want your patties. But I have one and one third pound meat and then I have five tablespoons of butter. I froze the stick and I basically grated two thirds of it or so. Um, five tablespoons that I'm gonna mix in the patty and I'm gonna season it with our holy cow. It's gonna be that simple. This does melt kind of quick. So that's why I froze it. So if you're using your hand, uh, we don't want it to melt. Uh, I find this way works for me, and so that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm just gonna work it all in, season it up, create patties, and we're gonna go grill them. Those look good. I've kind of got a little indention in the middle and I like to add some seasoning across the top, just a personal preference. We're gonna head out to the grill. All right, y'all, well, I'm here at Meat Church Barbecue Supply. This is my barbecue supply shop in downtown Waxhachie. We've been filming here for a few weeks because it's super hot at home in my normal outdoor kitchen and can bring my crew here and film in our new spot. So what's my setup today to cook? Well, I've got a Traeger Ranger and I've got a Goal Zero Yeti portable backpack. This is actually my tailgating setup generally, by the way, totally portable. Uh, this thing lasts forever, but you can cook these on whatever you want. The reason I'm doing this, yes, this can be a tailgating item, uh, but the great thing about a Ranger is that it has a grill grate and it also has basically this griddle. And so I'm just gonna butter it up here. I'm at 325, we're actually running 338 at the moment, but I like to do hamburgers pretty hot. For me, I like the big crust on a burger, so that's why I'm going this method personally. But you can grill these on anything. Grill them on a pellet grill, grill them on any sort of grill, just however you like to cook hamburgers. I'm sure you all know how to make hamburgers, for me, I like them no more than medium. Um, I like a medium rare myself. I know USDA says 165 for ground meat, but I like to live dangerously. So I'm gonna go a few minutes aside till they've got that great crust and they're the internal temperature I want. We're gonna put cheese on them and then we're gonna have one of the most delicious burgers we've ever had. We've been about three minutes or so. I'm not timing it, just kind of guessing. I'm gonna flip them over and cook them until they're done. We're in the 130s, so I'm gonna cheese them. Sharp cheddar, use your favorite cheese, and I want this super melty. It's been about a minute, let's see how it looks. Woo! Yahtzee! And look at all this butter that it's cooking in, the butter that's come out. It's like a confit burger. Let's go build burgers. 
All right, well it's time to build the burger and I wanna point something out, I haven't changed anything. All of this butter just kind of seeping out around this. Uh, it looks completely unhealthy and as I say, I ain't here to help you lose weight. So I'm excited to try this. Uh, we're gonna keep this super simple today. Not a bunch of lettuce and tomato cause I wanna taste this. So we're gonna go what I call Whataburger style, which is uh, simply mustard and pickles and that's it. Put a little mustard on there. Big patty, and you gotta have proper pickle distribution. Like when I go to Chick-fil-A, you gotta open up the sandwich and, and kind of move them around a little bit. These are toasted buns, by the way. Uh, we just buttered buns, toasted them on the Ranger. Always toast your buns. I like to toast the top as well. Uh, you know what, I don't normally do this, but I wanna see inside of this bad boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at the juices coming out of that. You're not supposed to squeeze your meat, but I have to to show you the butter and juice coming out of these. Good Lord. Whew. Here we go. Holy shit. I don't know that I'll ever eat a hamburger without butter in it going forward. Oh, that is so good. I didn't uh, get the crust that I wanted on the outside of the burger because, you know, I had so much butter on the griddle. Um, I do like a little bit of a harder, harder sear to kind of get that crust, but good Lord, I ain't mad at that at all. That is freaking delicious. You guys have to try this. You better try it earlier in life before you go visit your doctor because he's not going to be like the biggest fan of this, but that is awesome. The simplicity, uh, freaking amazing. Again, we're here at our barbecue supply shop. Y'all come see us Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, or if you're not local, you can get all of our stuff, our seasoning, our merch, meatchurch.com. Do us a favor, like the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. I met so many people this weekend that say they love the videos and they don't subscribe. We're not typical content creators. Uh, I'm the CEO of a barbecue brand who has a passion for making videos, so your subscriptions help us uh, continue to grow to do these and grow this channel but anyway we'll put this in our tailgate playlist too since it's football season thanks for watching see y'all next week